The NFL playoffs begin each season with the wild card round, where two division winners in each conference host two wild card teams. The playoffs for the 2016-17 NFL regular season begin on Saturday, January 7, 2017, as the Oakland Raiders visit the Houston Texans while the Detroit Lions play the Seattle Seahawks. The two wild card games on Sunday, January 8th, have the Miami Dolphins at the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New York Giants visiting the Green Bay Packers. Taking a look at the games, the Oakland Raiders will visit the Houston Texans on Saturday. The Oakland Raiders come into the game at 12 and four straight up and 10 and six against the spread. The Raiders were thought of as Super Bowl contenders just a few weeks ago, but after losing starting quarterback Derek Carr to injury, the Raiders are not much more than an afterthought entering the playoffs. The Raiders will be going with either backup Matt McGloin or rookie Connor Cook for this contest on Saturday. The Raiders simply are not the same team without Derek Carr under center, but they could still win this game against a weak Houston squad. The Raiders scored 26 points per game this season while allowing just over 24 points per contest. The Raiders were 6-2 against the spread on the road this season with four games going over and four games going under. The Houston Texans come in at 9-7 straight up and 6-9-1 against the spread. The Texans won the AFC South again this season, but they're simply not an impressive team. They have a pedestrian offense with no real passing attack. The Texans switch from Brock Osweiler to Tom Savage, but neither player puts fear in opposing defenses. The Texans will look to run the ball with Lamar Miller and play good defense. The Texans were 4-3-1 against the spread at home this season, with five of their eight games going under the total. The Texans averaged about 17 points per game while giving up just over 20 points per contest. The second game on Saturday will have the Detroit Lions at the Seattle Seahawks. The Detroit Lions come in at nine and seven straight up and eight and eight against the spread. The Lions had a chance to win the NFC North and get a home playoff game, but they could not beat the Green Bay Packers. Now they have to go on the road to find a way to win at Seattle. The Lions have enough offensive talent to win, led by quarterback Matthew Stafford. And they have some star players on defense, including cornerback Darius Slay. The Lions averaged just over 21 points per game this season while giving up just over 22 points per contest. The Lions went three and five against the spread on the road this season, with five of their eight games on the road going under the total. The Lions nearly beat the Seahawks last season in Seattle, as they fell by a score of just 13 to 10. The Lions have not won a playoff game since way back in 1991. The Seattle Seahawks come into this playoff game at 10, five and one straight up and eight and eight against the spread. The Seahawks enter the playoffs with 10 wins, but they are nowhere near the team that won the Super Bowl a few years ago. The offense has had its moments, but Seattle is scoring just 22 points per game. The defense is solid as they allow 18 points per contest but Seattle has not been the same since losing Earl Thomas to injury. The Seattle Seahawks went five and three against the spread at home this season, with five of the eight games going over the total. Seattle has won their last nine home playoff games, and they have never lost at home in the playoffs under Pete Carroll. Moving on to Sunday, January 8th, the Miami Dolphins will visit the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Dolphins come in at 10 and six straight up and nine and seven against the spread. The Dolphins are back in the playoffs for the first time since 2008. The Dolphins will probably be going with Matt Moore at quarterback as Ryan Tannehill is still coming back from injury. The Dolphins have a strong running game led by Jay Ajahi, who gashed the Steelers for more than 200 yards earlier in the season. The Dolphins averaged about 23 points per game this season while giving up nearly 24 points per contest. The Dolphins went five and three against the spread on the road this season with five of their eight road games going over the total. The Pittsburgh Steelers come in at 11 and five straight up and nine, six and one against the spread. The Steelers have won just a single playoff game since 2011, but they enter this year's playoffs as the main threat in the AFC to the New England Patriots. The Steelers are led by a potent offense with quarterback Ben Roethlisberger, running back Le'Veon Bell and wide receiver Antonio Brown. The Steelers averaged about 25 points per game this season while allowing 20 points per contest. The Steelers went 4-3-1 against the spread with four of their games going over and four going under. The second game on Sunday has the New York Giants visiting the Green Bay Packers. 
The New York Giants are 11-5 straight up and 9-6-1 against the spread. The Giants turn things around this season under head coach Ben McAdoo. The Giants did just enough on offense, led by Eli Manning and Adele Beckham Jr., and the defense was excellent. The Giants won't have any fear of the Packers, and McAdoo knows Green Bay well, as he spent eight years at Green Bay as an assistant. Eli Manning has won both of his previous playoff games at Lambeau Field. The Giants went 4-3-1 against the spread on the road this season, with seven of the eight games going under the total. The Green Bay Packers come into this game at 10-6 straight up and 9-6-1 against the spread. The Packers come into the playoffs red hot after having won their last six games in a row. Aaron Rodgers is playing at an MVP level as he has thrown 40 touchdown passes with just seven interceptions. The Packers averaged 27 points per game this season while giving up 24 points per contest. The Packers were 5-2-1 against the spread at home this season with four games going over the total and four games going under. Green Bay will be getting a lot of public support in this game, but the Giants have been proving week after week that they are a tough team to beat. Click over now and check out all the NFL and NCAA football odds on the board and make a few wagers with BetDSI.com.